plays extremely hard, that's a, an intelligent team, and a very well coached team, and a team that really uh, plays the game uh, as it should be played according to their particular style of play. And that's exactly what Temple is. It's a great uh, first opponent for us in every regard, except uh, for how good they are. Uh, they're going to be a very, very tough team to play against. Uh, they have a, a unique style, uh, both on the offensive end and as well as on the defensive end. Uh, John Chaney is one of the outstanding coaches uh, in college basketball and a man of uh, great integrity and, and a man that a lot of kids uh, that have played for him over the years uh, owe a great deal uh, to. Uh, obviously, he's a, a coach and a, and a person that I have an awful lot of uh, respect for. Uh, that's kind of why we're going to Philadelphia. I've been to Philadelphia before. I don't need to go back uh, for any other reason. Uh, our game the other night uh, brought about some improvement in some areas for us uh, relative to any comparison that we would draw between the second exhibition game with the Australian team and the first exhibition game with athletes in action. I thought our defensive positioning was considerably better. Uh, our footwork on defense uh, was a lot better, but yet we, uh, there's always an interesting thing about basketball is that uh, there's uh, something good, and if we're out here on a practice floor, and we're playing and boy we're really doing well on offense and we're getting a lot of good shots and and we're scoring well then all of a sudden you, you stop and say well, boy we must not be playing very well on defense uh, or if we're uh, throwing a ball away we say boy our, our ball handling is terrible well maybe our defense is pretty good maybe it's causing some errors so what we try to do is say okay we've got to have really consistent play and that means good shot selection good shots good ball handling so let's let their defense make the errors not our offense uh, we've got to keep them off the board we've got to eliminate second shots uh, we've got to force them into some turnovers we've got to get them taking some less than good percentage shots uh, let's let our defense be good and let's let their offense make the errors. Uh, errors will be very important in this opening game for us uh, in Philadelphia against Temple. Uh, they, they play a, a very aggressive, probably the most aggressive zone defense that anybody in the country plays. Played with good, smart uh, athletes, kids that uh, are, are well versed in, in how to slide and, and how to cover out of a zone. Uh, they get a lot of aggressive play out of the zone. They, they do a lot of trapping. Uh, they get the ball under pressure and they have the ball and this is really a key uh, in any kind of zone defense they have the ball under pressure when it's in the air and what I mean by that is that they have a lot of hands in the passing lanes they're very alert to the ball being put in the air they get a hand on it they deflect it they intercept it their defensive awareness and their defensive alertness aggressiveness uh, combine to make their defense a pretty important part of the Temple offense. The offensive end, Temple is a very patient team. They play a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. They beat you a lot off the dribble. Uh, and the difficult thing there for us is that in the Athletes in Action game, we were beaten a lot off the dribble. Uh, we did not contain the dribbler. Uh, we were late in helping. Uh, the dribbler uh, got scoring opportunities and created uh, even a greater number of scoring opportunities than was had simply by the use of the dribble. So that's something that's already been difficult for us, and it's something that we really have to work uh, at containing uh, in this game. I'm really not going to use the board. I don't think there's anything particular that we put up relative uh, to Temple's play. Uh, we've got to handle the ball with good pass fakes, good shot fakes. We've got to be alert to moving into open areas. We've got to have communication. We're not a team to this point that I feel has talked very well to one another. In fact, sometimes we're like five strangers playing together in terms of our communication and that's something that we hope we can improve and it has to be improved at both ends of the floor our offense
offensive communication against Temple Zone is going to be very important. Our reading, what's happening, uh, moving while the ball is in the air in the offensive position and also moving while the ball is in the air at the defensive position. Rather than moving after the ball arrives, uh, that's too late. We've got to move while the ball is in the air. So you're going to see a very, very aggressive defensive team in Temple, uh, a team that I think will go through this season and by the season's end uh, be one of the good teams uh, in the country. Uh, we start with them uh, in this ball game uh, uh, here tonight, uh, and that starts the season for us, so we're about ready to find out uh, what we have to do and where we're going, and, and if it's not where we want to go, how we can get it changed and, and get going in the right direction. So we have a lot of things that are going to take place for us here in the next few weeks, and it all begins tonight with Temple. Each Sunday on TTV4, you'll have two chances to catch the lead. The Temple Owls meet the Indiana Hoosiers. Yeah. Indiana Hoosiers have played at the Spectrum in Philadelphia before, twice to be exact, and both times night won national championships. It was Buckner and Benson in 76 and Isaiah Thomas in 81. But those memories mean nothing tonight to John Chaney and the Temple Owls. And here it is, 1997. We're back at the Spectrum with the Hoosiers taking on the Owls of Temple. With Bill Raftery, I'm Dwayne Stats. Welcome to Philadelphia. Great to have you with us. Well, it's the season opener for the Indiana Hoosiers. This Temple team already has a win, a victory over Auburn. You know, Indiana comes in with some question marks. They have four returning starters, and one of the fellows they'll be looking for for answers is one of the starters out front last year's Big Ten Rookie of the Year, A.J. Guyton. Well, Bobby Knight likes to have an extension out on the floor. Who better than A.J. Guyton? The ability to handle the basketball is going to be very important against Temple. They're going to push the ball on occasion. He's wonderful. He's the use of the left hand, the use of the rim to make the layup. But the push and the early offense, he wants the big guys to run the floor and A.J. Guyton to excel going to the hole. Temple Owls head coach John Chaney for a long time has loved the perimeter game. This year with good reason. He has great depth there. Some things on the offensive end. This is the other night, 16 points last year. Rasheed Brokenbauer, the ability to shoot the three-point shot or put it on the floor. They'll do a little picking and rolling for him, but he's very good around the hole as well. We'll be back to Philadelphia for the opening tip-off in just a moment as we look for the Owls depth at guard featuring Lynn Greer, Malik Moore, and Quincy Wadley, who all contributed to the victory over Auburn. Go to the net. 18th in the country as they take on the Temple Owls. Bobby Knight's club will start them this way. Andre Patterson looking for maybe a year of redemption. Still trying to live up to all the promise he brought with him to Indiana as he starts his senior year. William Gladness, a junior college transfer. Collier, the big man of the middle. Luke Rucker, the freshman, been committed since his sophomore year in high school. Guyton rounds it out for Temple. Lamont Barnes coming off a big game, 19 against Auburn, as he tries to fill the shoes of the departed Mark Jackson. Dunkley and Stewart with Sanchez and Brokenboro out front to complete John Chaney's starting lineup. Jim Burr. Jody Sylvester and Gene Manji, the officials for tonight's game here in Philadelphia, and we are set to play basketball. Lamont Barnes, center against Patterson. And Indiana will come out of the opening tip with possession. And setting the stage, uh, we'll stretch the truth a little bit here now. <laughs> Temple in a zone with minimum principles. A lot of ball movement. They can try and hit the corners when they can, Indiana. And try to break up those passing lanes and the turnover. Stewart came away with the ball and broken burrow in the front court. Hoosiers minimum. Bernard Stewart, he's the 6'8 senior. Now they'll use the clock, Wayne. They're solid, end up with decent shots at the end of the trip. Good offensive rebounding team, too. And the first shot of the game 
Stewart misses. Barnes tries to take it back up. Ripped away by Patterson. Now a loose ball. Sanchez tries to go left-handed. Bounce pass under to Stewart, and it's broken up and knocked away. Nice play by Wrecker getting down there. I'm looking forward to watching him play. They say he's a slasher, athletic. You mentioned Patterson on the open. I'm looking for him to have a bang out year. And he's a solid performer. Sanchez tees it up deep. Sanchez from three. That's what Temple likes. Sanchez. Temple out in front with the first bucket of the game. Make guys run the corner. That's what they're going to try and do. They put the hands out and take away the passing lane to the corner. Record. Now out to Guyton who takes a look. Patterson and they swing it back. There's Rucker, the freshman with a shot. And a roll off. Temple out of there with a basketball. The rebound to Julian Dunkley. No easy shots. It's not like the uh, rec league 2-3. Broken Burrow for three. Not going to go. And Patterson corrals it underneath. Everybody back for Temple. Indiana trying to uptick it just a little bit. Nice look. Rucker oh. looks to Patterson who converts. Luke on the money. Great look. And that's what you like to see out of Patterson. Andre up big and emphatic. They say Rucker is the kind of kid who can motivate out there and he was fired up on the assist end of that one. 3-2 Temple. Imagine how pumped is a youngster. First time. It's a terrific nationally ranked team like Temple. This is their favorite play. A little pick and roll at the end for Broken Burrow. Sanchez has it stripped. Back now out of the corner. Dunkley another three attempt long. And a hell ball that's tied up over there with Barnes and Collier. Possession arrow is still Temple. It's amazing how they get offensive rebounds. Do an excellent job anticipating the shot and pushing the defender under the rim. They have Barnes and Dunkley each at 6'10. And Barnes, this is Stewart now calling for the timeout as he had problems finding a spot to inbound the ball. So Barnes and Dunkley, the big men, as John Chaney tries to get production out of the big man Barnes inside. Very animated coach, uh, alleged here in the city. They say Bill, excuse me, they say he's mellowed a little bit. You get more smiles. Nothing mellow about that, huh? <laughs> well, he's a great lecturer. Incidentally, on the open, the plaid jacket, Bob Knight still has that jacket from the early <laughs> days. Uh, these are two guys who've put the wins for their respective programs. Knight, the winningest active coach with those 700 victories. All about winning for those two. And this should be off Collier. Good call. Roll off Collier in front of the Indiana bench. Well, it still belongs to Temple. They have three seconds left on the clock. Got to challenge the shot Stewart. and not foul. Sanchez walked. He slipped out front, tried to get it away quickly, but the turnover gives it back to Indiana. And Guyton's the reason right up on him, trying to challenge. Got a chance to talk to Bob Knight before the game, and uh, in the paper today, Cheney was saying he made a phone call, said, I'll come out there three times and play you. Bob Knight said, I said I'm going to play you, and that's how this game came about. Patterson down to Collier. And it's Guyton, and he'll pop it for three. No good, but the putback. Patterson has it rolled off, and the rebound to Dunkley. Sanchez with a pass. Broken Burrow. Right up with him, record. Now they'll make you get back, but they won't rush to the offense. Barnes low against Collier. Rolls off, and Collier's there for the rebound. Rucker into the front court for Indiana. Got to drive the gap, make two people play, and then make the pass. They widen out. Hoosiers one of four from the floor, and Guyton lets it fly. Count that one for three. Well, if you can make outside shots, stretches the white shirts out, you can get some lean passing. Well, Guyton is in the book. Indiana takes the lead. Stewart. And Aaron Stewart looking low for Barnes. Stewart, pretty good offensive player as well. Dunkley, that's a three fly. Count back. Julian Dunkley last year hit just 24% from three point range, but buries that one. 
Guyton down to the corner. Collier is there. Collier can make that shot too. They got him at 10, 12 feet. Very effective. Nice pass. Indiana likes to roll the lane. Reverse the basketball. There's the roll. Anderson flashing through. Back to Wrecker. Underneath, and this one rolls off as Collier misconnects. But the attempted put back by Gladness, and he draws the foul. And Gladness, we haven't mentioned his name yet, the junior college transfer who gives them an added dimension. Well, Bob Knight will be Bob Gladness uh, with the <laughs> foot speed. That was a terrific rebound. And I got the feeling to finish the thought earlier in talking about there was an excitement about Bob Knight. Not that he didn't have it other years, but last year they were 14 and 1, and he didn't feel they were playing well. Got away with some wins that maybe they shouldn't have. Uh, this group, if they don't turn it over and they grow defensively, could be one of his better ones. Gladness at the line for a second, missed the first one, the foul on Barnes, and Gladness missed them both, but we have a whistle inside the lane and we'll get a chance to do that one again. Lamont Barnes was inside. Tough spot too because you got to step out and squeeze the big guy Collier. So Gladness who has played well in two exhibition games hits this one. So Gladness is in the book and we have a timeout on the floor. 15-59 to play in the first half. Temple Indiana six apiece. We're tied 6-6. Well, you got to maneuver the zone, Glenn, and the ability of Indiana around the rim with Gladness and Andre Patterson. Wonderful look. You mentioned the enthusiasm of the young guy. Terrific response as Wrecker, who seems to have a good feel for the game. All about winning. Well, that would be a dynamic combination, Wrecker and that fellow right there, Patterson, if they could put it all together for Indiana this year. Now this is the end that they're usually very tough. There'll be a lot of individual one-on-one. -on -one. It'll test people. Brokenborough back Sanchez. Brokenborough down in the corner. He had 11 the other night against Auburn. He averaged 16 last year at the lead. He's actually the leading returning score. This one will not go down and the ball down to Rucker. Luke Rucker down the middle pulls up. Collier and it's knocked away by Barnes. Ooh. Barnes leaping the, the courtside table over there. Hop, step, and jump. Ira Davis out of LaSalle made that famous with a gold medal out of Philadelphia. At that time record, nice job holding up and then didn't pay attention to the defender stepping in the lane. Nice Wrecker and a nice pass underneath. Broken up down there. Collier, the intended receiver, and it was broken up by Dunkler. Why that was a nice look is Broken Bro had taken away the pass to the sideline. Good heat on the chest pass. Inside Collier from about eight. Not going to go. Put back and count that one. Gladness with his first field goal. He has three in the game. Well, he's quick around the rim. And Collier just pulled the string on that little jumper. Sanchez, the sophomore from Argentina. What well, John Cheney has is some subs who can rev it up a little bit around the perimeter. Sanchez starts in, back out, and a three by Broken Burrow. A little long. Patterson is there to rebound it. Sanchez puts the fire out there, played the passing lane on the kick out. Guyton. And a record. And from the corner in a roll and a whistle. I guess Collier pushed yeah. the rock. Nice job on the baseline to get that look. Just a little brush screen to give the open jumper. Collier is first. The team first. first foul on Collier. Wadley entering the game, replacing Dunkley. So Quincy Wadley, the sophomore out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. He had eight points against Auburn the other night. And he is not afraid uh, to shoot that long jumper either. Broken Burrow on the right side. Rucker back there with him. Follows him across, Sanchez. Temple two of eight from the floor now. now they've been sliding behind the pick and roll, Indiana. Figure, let him beat, it, beat them deep. And there's that little backup chug uh, by Barnes. Well, Lamont Barnes will be charged with the foul. 
His second. His second personal foul. To and they're not big. Yeah, that's a not a happy mentor. Long time Cheney State coach. What a success here at Temple. Indiana by two with the basketball. Guyton, Brokenborough with the pressure. Patterson. Wrecker. Well, look at the reaction defensively by Temple. And Guyton for three, and he fills it. Now that was about 24 feet. And the zone can't play the center and get up on the big uh, the uh, guard shooting the, the big one. Second three of the game for Guyton. He has six for the contest. And Indiana takes a five-point lead. See how they slide behind it. They're going to concede the deep one. And this time, Broken Burrow fills it. He makes them. You got to change your philosophy. So far, they've had a little trouble knocking the deep one down. That makes it a two-point game. Patterson high. And Guyton. They just cover so much area. Look at the reaction in the back. Inside, Collier. Too deep out front. Guyton spins from 15. What a move. That was an extraordinary offensive trip by Indiana. I mean, they picked it apart, settled, got a good one. 13-9, Indiana. Broken Burrow. And Wrecker again there with him. It's a lot of touches. Wadley, slide behind again. Over Collier. This one will not go by Barnes. Loose, Wadley. Knocked away, out of bounds. Last touch by Patterson. The ball belongs to Temple. Well, when you take deep shots, the advantage is to the offensive team. And Temple, very good at running down deep rebounds. Barnes out of there, and Keaton Sanders is in the contest for the first time. John playing more people than he might this season this year. <laughs> He's got a longer bench. Broken Burrow. Baseline reverses, and it's not going to go. Hustling to the ball on the floor, Gladness. Record looking deep, but holds up. Well, they've been, uh, Indiana wants the big, not a good look there. Broken Burrow knocked it away. Wadley up with a steal. Wrecker draws the foul. Wrecker charged with the foul. A two shot foul coming. And not a good pass by the rookie. And, and Bob Knight showing, let's see, he's going to yank him. Yeah, I thought he was going to give him a little bit. He's played well, I think, early. Uh, earlier, he got away with this kind of a pass to the wing. And Temple, over the years, Eddie Jones comes to mind, able to step up, gather, and finish at the other end. Wadley misses. Off the Indiana bench comes Rob Turner. He's a junior college transfer out of Wilmington, Delaware. I like this. Bob's shown a lot of patience with a young guy, giving him an opportunity after a mistake. Turner replaces Gladness. They were not a confident team last year coming down the stretch. I didn't think Indiana. Probably part of that reasoning early with uh, leaving Wrecker on the floor. Guyton. And record. That's some combination out front. They're making him use all the floor. Brokenborough out there, center court with Guyton as he starts back into the corner. Guyton out of the corner for three, rolls off. Wrecker puts it back and drops it. Well, with the way the zone is running the baseline, weak side rebounding, if you get the shot up and it goes long, you're in terrific shape. Nice read by Wrecker. Sanchez controlling the ball, knocked away by Patterson, and a whistle. Patterson up with the steal, and fouled by Leonard Stewart, the 6'8 senior. That's six turnovers for Temple. And with 10.50 to play, Indiana leads 15-9. With 10.50 to play, we've seen the freshman, Luke Recker, get his first start. Well, the coaches say his good instincts. Here, the weak side rebound. He's got size. Sanchez unable to deter. And here's the nice little strength to hang and deliver. But Temple's floor co coverage is extraordinary. You've really got to move the basketball and move your people. 
And finally, he's at Indiana after committing as a sophomore in high school. He said he was going to go to Indiana. Here he is. Guyton with the jumper over Broken Burl and picks it up in the corner behind the back. And the pass goes through. Temple comes up with it. Sanchez, the pass intended for Turner. Sanchez into the front court for Temple. Patterson, nice denial inside. They're doing a pretty good job checking out, but the rainbow. Wadley, another three. Temple 0 for 5 from 2, but 4 out of 7 from 3. Are you suggesting they have no middle game? <laughs> Sanchez away with this one. Broken Burrow inside, and that will not go. Nice help by Turner. Turner down with the ball. Guyton takes it inside, drops it off. Patterson, count it. Uh, they want the big guys to run the floor. If Patterson hadn't sprinted, that wouldn't have happened. Nice penetration by Guyton. Indiana by five. Under ten to play in the half. A little stacked look, a different set on the offensive end. Stewart, pretty good defender, or offensive player. They'll let him go. He likes to step through on people. Stewart to Sanchez, and a three will not go. Wadley. So Wadley down with a rebound. He gives them some athleticism as well at that extra guard position. And speed, too. Yep. Nice. Broken Burrow. Here's a three. Not going to go. Collier rebounding, but a whistle against him. So that'll be another foul on Collier. He has two. Uh, Bob Knight wanted his big guys to get down and in position. You don't often get an open floor opportunity as Patterson leads the play, gets into the three-second area, and then spreads, opens up, creates a passing lane, and Guyton with a good response. Sanders out. Michael Tab in for Temple. Richard Mandeville into the game for Indiana. Collier out of there. And here's another little small changer. Not the kind of defense you'd like as Mandeville who just came in the game. He's played behind, never three-quarter, then used his hands. Here's the seven-foot senior. And here's Lynn Greer in replacing Sanchez. Greer, an exciting addition, the freshman. He sure is. Gets into the lane quick. John's got some bright prospects. This one will not go. Stewart missing the attempt. And Turner in the middle of that away with a basketball. Guyton. Lewis underneath, finding Turner, who tries to take it to the hoop, and a whistle. Michael Lewis, who last year as a freshman made 14 starts with that pass underneath to set up this trip to the foul line for Rob Turner. Now that showed me something for India. This is a gamble. You're just in the game. You make a mistake, you're concerned. But look at the confidence. Not much area. Great look as Lewis is on the money. Foul on Tab. And Turner hits this one. Malik Moore, the sophomore out of Philly, into the game for Temple. It's number three. Turner, a Tyler J.C. kid. Bob Knight occasionally brings a couple of J.C.'s, that, and good things happen. And I think they made two key additions this year in Turner and Gladness. I'm thinking of Keith Smart making that corner jumper yeah, against Syracuse. Yeah. And Jim Beheim wind a little, and rightfully so. This one will not go for the freshman Greer. Michael Lewis quickly front court for Turner. Turner hung up. Lewis. Guyton back to Lewis. Goes to the corner. Mandeville and Lewis inside flashing Turner. And the ball picked away. That's Greer. Ahead to Moore. Moore misses it. He was trailed by Turner and a whistle. Well, John Cheney used to say speed kills. Well, he's going to have a few accidents this year. He's got some guys that can go up and down, Moore being one of them. Exciting. You get to the foul line, it's a good play for John Cheney. And Moore will go to the line. ESPN's College Basketball Full Court. Pet 1 800 Get Sports or your cable company. Malik Moore. Temple, nothing of three from the line. 
And Moore hits this one. So Moore converts it. Indiana on top in this one with 7.58 to play, up by six. Spectrum tonight, Indiana up by six with 7.58. To play in the first half won't be long, though. John Cheney's crew will have a new home, the Apollo. It's going to be a great facility, 10,205 a capacity. The form at the Apollo of Temple. And that game... Well, coaches Harry Litwack and Don Casey, all part of that great history. Boy, did they break the pressure. Good follow. Wrecker missed the shot, but Patterson had a follow. Patterson has six in the game. Looking to break the pressure and challenge Temple's full court. Ben Greer handling the ball for Temple. Wadley on the floor as well with Stewart out there. Moore cutting across inside Stewart, and it will not roll for him. What a great checkout by Andre Patterson. And running the floor. Lewis and Guyton. Out front into the corner. Patterson out of the corner. A little long. And the rebound to Wadley. Wadley front court. Stewart, Greer, Moore, Wadley. Here's Moore. Hopping it from 15. Will not go. The attempted putback. That's not going to drop by Wadley, and Indiana back with a basketball. Guyton down the sideline. Well, you saw the speed of Wadley, too, getting up there. Patterson to Gladness, who cannot corral it. But Arn Stewart out with a basketball. I don't know if you want Andre Patterson making that pass on that angle. Temple 0 for 11 from two-point range until now. He's been fighting for post position, Michael Tab. Finally got one. So Tab into the scorebook. He makes it a six-point game. Lewis accelerating inside and a travel call coming against the 6-1 sophomore. And without that extra dribble, he had a kick, too. Lost his footing. Mandeville back into the game, replacing Gladness. Tab departs for Temple. I'd say Philadelphia's been pretty good to Bob Knight, huh? <laughs> yes. Two national championships right in this building. Broken Burrow back. Slocken and Greer. Swing it to Broken Burrow on the right side against Lewis. And Stewart. This is a three attempt. And on the reverse, boy, there was a battle for that rebound until Keaton Sanders, who will go up against bigger men, battled for that too. He has the physique to compete. They are excellent on the glass. And they attack the offensive boards. Mandeville, he has some range, the big man, but this one rolls off. Broken Burrow, back for the Owls, down to the corner. Quick move, baseline, Moore, Greer, swings it. Back into the corner, and oh. this one is going to count. Was that unselfish? Great team basketball by Temple. Three for Moore. Pry, get to the rim, kick it out, and not a good foul in the backcourt. You get a little overzealous. Just as they had trimmed the deficit to one, 21-20. Temple on a 7-0 run. And Malik Moore charged with a foul. They are exciting, though. Good speed. Take advantage with the dribble. Guyton pushes it to Lewis. This is a three, and it will not answer. Greer down to the rebound. Looking ahead, there's Broken Burrow. Down to the baseline, and we have a whistle. There's a push. That's going to be against Guyton. A Guyton charged with his first. I know you're too young, but Red Holzman <laughs> used to say, hit the open man. And all around the horn after the pride to the goal, that is pretty basketball. And then Moore back up, unfortunately, in the excitement. Got a small change foul in the backcourt. Larry Richardson into the game, replacing Mandeville for Indiana. Broken Burrow. I see Starts the, to spin, but stop there. As you say, in the old days, that would have been a carry. Where they <laughs> scoop it up. 
Here's Greer. Broken Burrow and Broken Burrow looking to go underneath with a pass intended underneath for Keaton Sanders. Well, Sanders probably saying, you know, I I think you're always going to shoot. I was waiting for the <laughs> rebound. Uh, not a bad look off the jumper. Temple, seven turnovers. Indiana with eight. That's been a point of concern for Indiana in the early going and their scrimmages and a couple exhibitions. Great floor coverage. This one's going to go. Count that one for Luke Rucker. Uh, I don't know if he'll ever shoot like uh, Stevie Alford, but uh, nice to see a Hoosier hitting some deep ones. He has five tonight. That's got to help against the Temple Zone. This one knocked away by Rucker. A battle into the backcourt. Stewart up for the ball. He's some juice, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Broken Burrow starts to go and is fouled along the side by Guyton, who picks up a quick second foul. Bobby Knight not happy about that one. Well, he had played good defense. No sense getting on him. Just challenge. Don't reach in. Uh, Sanchez in the game now. And Dwayne, the thing about the bench for John Cheney, they play a lot more people. San Sanchez will end up with 20, 22, 25 minutes a game now, yep. which will make him that much more effective. Broken Burrow misses. Well, they have Greer and Wadley to help Malik Moore as well. Temple is one of five from the line. Last year hit 66 percent from the free throw line. Broken Burrow misses this one. Sanchez tries to put it back and Patterson down with it. Guyton in control of the basketball. Guyton looking. Lewis hangs it up and a misconnect. Richardson the intended receiver on that end. Sanchez. Out of the corner, Broken Burrow. Wadley lets it fly from three. Patterson knocked away, Richardson there, but it's knocked away, picked up by Wadley. Broken Burrow knocked it away. And that good offense that time, you got to eat the ball, don't turn it over. Record out of the hands of Dunkley and speeds to the basketball. We have a whistle. Well, he's going to get punished for good hustle. Mm. I uh, may have shoved on the opposite side of the floor, but I like his energy. Nice hands by Lewis to the open floor. Second foul on the freshman record. Well, he made McDonald's All-American for good reason. Here's the deflection. Pushes the head. He must have given the arm out there. And Brokenborough will go to the line on the one and one. Broken Burrow hits from the line. Earns himself another one. 24 21. Broken Burrow again. It's a two point game. Indiana leading with a timeout on the floor. Is on the steal and the layup to tie the game at 24. You got to value the ball against Temple. Rucker tries to answer. It's not going to go. Sanders Sanchez battling for the rebound, and Richardson is on his back. So the foul charge to Larry Richardson, the 6'8 sophomore out of Orange Park, Florida. And over there with Nate Blackwell, John Cheney, not a bad guard as well, but here you relax just a tad. Good understanding and feel. I thought Sanchez might give this one up, but uh, why not? Huh? He worked hard for it. <laughs> oh, you can't blame him. That was not blow by speed going down that floor either. Huh? It was a cruise control. <laughs> Pepe, all the international play gives you a lot of understanding. Keaton Sanders at the line. He misses this one, and Patterson inside. Away with the basketball. Off to Lewis. Patterson tries to move, denied by Dunkley, and knocked out of bounds from behind. Wadley knocked it out. Tough to blow by baseline with this zone. 
quick decisions are necessary. Indiana basketball. A tie game at 24. 14 left on the shot clock. Guyton out front. Cross to Lewis. Under 10. Guyton. Count it for two. A.J. Guyton has 10. Well, they match up zone-wise, and occasionally you can play the guy just like it's a one-on-one. -on -one. That time he did on the wing. Sanchez and Brokenboro. Slide behind the pick. Sanchez darts, loses a man, and pops. Not going to go. The tip attempt will not go, and we'll walk it the other way. I think it might be dunking over the top. And they wear on you. They get that body, shove you under the rim. That's his first. Tuesday through Saturday, midnight east. Thanks out, Guyton. Good move with the two personal fouls. No sense getting them in anymore. Closing seconds of the first half. Indiana by two. Turner pops it for three. Indiana by five. Well, everybody inside should pat him on the back. You will get some catches if they can spread that zone out. Turner tough and strong and a good three-point shooter. Converts to give Indiana this lead. And Sanchez. See if they run a double screen down on that baseline and just go individually. Here's Dunkley, lets it fly for three. It will not go. And there's the buzzer, ending the first half. Indiana will go into the locker room with a lead at the half. The score at halftime, Indiana 29 and Temple 24. Yes. Miles from the spectrum. Indiana scoring the final five points in that first half, led by A.J. Guyton, who has 10 points. Guyton, the 6'1 sophomore. And the Hoosiers are out in front. We'll be back. Second half action coming in a moment. And then jump hook over him for Indiana. Here's Mr. Indiana basketball, Luke Recker, this fabulous freshman. He's a swing man, he's big at 6'6", but he does make freshman mistakes. Swapped by Juan Pepe Sanchez. He goes all the way with the steal from Recker, and that tied the game at that point. Right now, it is Indiana nursing a 29-24 lead. They have just hit the half in a game that you can see over on ESPN2. Temple closing up the spectrum, and then they'll move on to their new digs. Over common, not just both coming from <laughs> Indiana coaching backgrounds, but he's in his 17th year at Bloomington. You spent a lot of time with them this week. What do you expect this year? I went down there Tuesday and Wednesday just to see what this whole team was going to become to challenge Purdue this year. He decided by Wednesday that Luke Record, a freshman, was going to start, which now allows A.J. Guyton to move to second guard. Also, they know that against Auburn, Auburn and Temple, Auburn had 18 off and re offensive rebounds. In the first half tonight, IU has six offensive rebounds. So with the freshman starting at point guard, any offensive rebounding, this is why now Indiana has control of this game against Temple. No, they've been disappointing the last few years, but they are expected to bounce back a little bit in the Big Ten this year. And one of the reasons is not only record, but he's got some junior college transfers. An unusual thing for Bob Knight. Now let's halftime. Indiana leading the Temple Owls 29-24 with Bill Raftery, Dwayne Stats. Well, the good news, the Temple scoring's pretty well spread out. The bad news, they're not hitting from the floor. No, they're, they're not making the long jump shots. The offensive rebounding's been a factor. Some putbacks. Their defense saves them. Good, solid defensive performance. Indiana hitting 44% from the field. Temple just 26%. Turnovers, 11 Indiana, 7 for Temple. Indiana, 22 rebounds, 8 of those by Patterson. They have the advantage there. 13 points from the Temple starters, 11 off the bench. But again, they're hitting just 26%. Nothing from Stewart and Barnes in the scoring department. Indiana with the basketball to start second half play. A.J. Guyton in double figures with 10 to lead first half scores. Out there with Wrecker. The freshman Luke Wrecker getting the start. And out of the corner, baseline gladness. Sanchez really turns it back. 
Doesn't permit that. He's one of the reasons that play happened. Of course, inside, Barnes knocked it away. Sanchez, and now down to the right side for Temple to Brokenboro. Brokenboro, five points in the first half, but just one of seven from the field. Really struggles. Good move here, trying to get to the rim a little bit. Here's Dunkley. He's going to pop one from three, and he hits. Dunkley, just 24% a year ago from three, has two threes in this game. Got to get to the gap. Record back to Guyton. He gets a look and pops a little long. Gladness. And Sanchez there with some pressure. Oh, right out. Collier, Collier throws it away. Stewart down. Now Sanchez back to Stewart. Leans in. It rolls, but a whistle and a foul. Uh, Collier trying to get it back as Jason on the turnover trying to regroup. A chance for a three-point play. Indiana not ready out of the gate. Temple in front of their home crowd. So this is one of those turnovers. It's almost a direct pass. And the danger of having a big guy out that high in the floor, things like that happen. And here, the little slide over gives him a chance for three. So Indiana has to regroup. Collier now with three fouls. This one coming at 1846. And the miss by Stewart. So he fails to convert the three-point play. A game tied at 29. Well, Stewart and Barnes, eight points each last year. Barnes rebounding. And this year, the first half, they had nothing. And Barnes coming off the 19 against Auburn. Deep from the corner, not going to go. Dunkley missing. Indiana back. I think you got to make the zone work. They did a nice job in the first half, prying, hitting the foul line, reversing the ball. Good pop there by William Gladness. Oof. And Wrecker throws it away. Tried to team up with Patterson as they did in the first half, but he sailed that one right over his head and out of bounds. 14th Indiana turnover. Bobby Knight concerned about that even as far back as their scrimmage. Well, before they came in here, the concern by the whole staff was valuing the basketball. I'd like to see Wrecker come right back shortly. Lewis in there replacing Wrecker at the moment. Ooh, not and a good another one. whistle. And a foul coming against Collier. That's going to be four. So two quick fouls on Collier here in the second half. This one coming with 17.49 left, which means Richard Mandeville, the seven foot senior, comes off the bench to replace Collier. And not a good one. 14 turnovers and some mental lapses early. And you got to get with the program, get it going early, even though it's the first game. You know, you have three, you don't give a little small change foul like that. Sanchez, the game tied at 29. Pepe Sanchez working against Guyton. Dunkley. Sanchez again on the left side. Broken Burrow. Lewis denies the baseline. Dunkley, he's going to try three again and pops it. It's Lewis amazing. And Dunkley with his third three of the game. And a timeout by Indiana. A lot of perimeter offense, not much underneath, but effective with the cross court look. Temple has taken the lead for the first time since they led 6 5 early in the first half. They're up 32 29 with 17 16 to play. Scored the first eight points of the second half to take this lead, 32-29. Bill, they've done it because Indiana, frankly, has not played very well in the opening couple minutes. Over the years, Indiana's always beaten you with their head. And uh, the beginning of this quarter, the turnovers in the, or this half, I should say, the first half turnovers have gotten them in a little bit of a hole. Uh, they've got to get their game going and coordinated, start picking apart this Temple zone. And if Temple starts making the deep shots, I mean, well, you're going to have to start going over the top of the pick and roll. Indiana basketball. Guyton into Patterson. Tries to take it inside, and there's a whistle and a push. Temple tried to get a walk out of that, but we're going to have a foul charge against Lamont Barnes, the 6'10 sophomore, and that will be three on him. Uh, Patterson that time tried to dribble against the zone. He's fortunate. He ended up walking at the end of it. You won't get many opportunities in the lane. They all gather around you. 
Patterson stripped by Sanchez and a battle for the ball. It's going to go out of bounds and a whistle. Patterson and Sanchez battling for that one. Patterson on the floor and had the ball pop away from him. Last touch by the Indiana Hoosier. 15 Indiana turnovers. Four in this half. Keaton Sanders in now. Foul concerned for John Chaney coaching all the time. He's got a lot of energy. And Barnes out of there with those three fouls. Now John used to wear flashy ties, but everybody was noticing him. We'd give him away, so now he's into the dregs. <laughs> Told me that a couple of years ago. Lindsay doesn't mind giving away. He doesn't want to be noticed. Here's Brokenborough. Misses for three. Guyton. Nobody went to the corner, so Guyton finally did and picked it up. Lewis. Mandeville. He has some range, but not this time. Patterson tries to put it back. That ball is still loose. Now Sanchez. Sanchez at three on two. Four on two as it turns out. And a charge. How about that? you got to have control, John. Wow, technical right here. He may get another one. He didn't like the depth of the charge. Too far underneath, felt he wasn't established, thought he was sliding. Dunkley charged with the offensive foul. And Cheney off the chair and the team. John's not used to this because they don't run very much. I think that was an easy call for the official. I mean, over the years, they have not gotten into those situations, but when you uptick a little bit, you're going to get those bang-bangers. Guyton out the line, taking care of the technical foul shots. First points of the second half for Indiana. Guyton now has 12 on the night, and the Hoosiers will have the basketball down by one. Ooh, little elbow. Patterson rolls off. Sanchez rebounding. Sanchez back. And a foul on the swipe from behind. I think that was Guyton. I think you're right. Number three, not the kind you need. Just play your man space. Get your body in front of the penetrator. Sanchez is solid, though. Sees the floor. Knows the pace to go. Stewart looking to inbound. Sanders, Keaton Sanders, and back out to Stewart. If they could get him going a little bit, he's a pretty good offensive player. Backing in against Gladness County. He was quiet for a while. Simon Gratz and a couple of brothers are good play as well, both at Coppin State. Stewart, two of seven from the field. Temple up by three. Guyton. Off to Lewis, starts in, to Patterson's hands, and out of bounds. Temple will get it back. Another Indiana turnover as Bobby Knight up off his chair. Nice 16 little, turnovers. Uh, they, they're not a good play here, not typical Temple. Michael Lewis with nice penetration, but a little too much heat maybe on the pass to Patterson. Lewis back with it, now the ball loose again. Sanchez ahead to Stewart, a three on two. And a whistle and a foul. Patterson. Charge with a foul as Brokenborough tried to take it to the hoop. Indiana rattled at this point. At this juncture, not smooth. Over the years, the one thing Bob Knight's clubs have done, value the ball. Patterson here with the giveaway, just trying to make up for the poor basketball being played at the other end offensively by Indiana. Brokenborough at the line as Knight runs it over with Michael Lewis last year's inconsistency a, a tough year in a lot of ways for Indiana and the question is we talked about John Chaney maybe a little more mellow than he was earlier in his career how about Knight will he be able to be uh, as he, mellow and as contained as he might need to be sometime well before the game I, I said to you look great and I smile he should be like this all year long he said unless we play poorly well right now they're not playing his style of basketball Temple's biggest lead at 5 36 31 of the corner and the big man misses again Mandeville 0 for 3 from outside tonight just rushing a tad Sanders uh, over Mandeville hits it's a seven point Temple lead and that's the biggest lead of the night for the Temple Owls let this one fly as 
Turner answers a big bucket Rob Turner for Indiana. That's three and he has eight tonight. If he called timeout you wouldn't diagram that shot though. <laughs> Very fortunate that that went down. Confidence by Turner. Dunkley. Oh he does it again. Dunkley with another three. He has 12 on four threes tonight. And you mentioned 24 percent last year. Patterson tries to drop it off loose for a moment now. Gladness with that little hook along the baseline. I think they got to use their big people more. Find the foul line, dump down when they can, post up, almost making an individual post up, then let the big guy make a decision. 41 36, Temple. Down to the corner, Broken Burrow. Turner with him, denies the baseline. Dunkley corrals. Oh, he's going to pop it again. Finally misses from out there. And it's Turner with the rebound. Guyton off to the corner. Patterson tries to go up, and he's grabbed. That's the kind of dribble you use. Between defenders, you can stop and do something or kick. Stewart charged with a foul. And here comes the Temple bench. Sanchez departs in favor of Greer. Brokenborough out of there. And Quincy Wadley back in. Temple's zone defense is so quick, and I think it's going to be quicker this year because the ability to sub, get some fresh bodies out on the floor. Now Dunkley will depart. And in his place comes Malik Moore. Down to Turner. Mandeville is playing with Collier on the bench. Four fouls. A three. A little long this time from Turner. Out of bounds. And the ball will go the other way. Good call. Correct call. Fouls get the basketball back. Indiana led at the half by five. Down by five with 13.08 to play in the game. And a 20 second timeout asked for by Temple. Well, Temple taking advantage of Indiana mistakes and a hot Stewart up here in the second half. Coming up Monday, Purdue number six in the country taking on Valparaiso. Purdue might be the favorite to win another Big Ten title this year. Having their problems because of turning the basketball over and spacing, I think, against this zone. They're now struggling on the offensive end. And Temple shooting 26% in the first half, 67% from the floor in the second half. Moore and Greer. And Stewart. Oh, no kidding. And he misses the shot. Tab trying to rebound. Lost it in Indiana. He'll come back with a basketball. And the three-point shooting breakout. Temple 8 of 22. And Mandeville's had some good looks. But he has rushed his jumper. And they got a little Away banging. From the ball. Yep. Yep. Oh, they call it. Oh, no. And Stewart, I guess. I saw the zero. Goodness and yes. Stewart were banging and Stewart charged with a foul his second. That's five team fouls against Temple. Well, Turner wide open. Gladness inside. Lost it. Got it back and lays it right up and in. Well, they had the overload right too with Turner wide open. Gladness has seven. Indiana within three. And through the hands of Michael Tam. And what happened is he worked so hard he got his weight back on his heel. Pretty good post defense. And then the quickness of the pass by Moore. And now it's John Cheney who's frustrated with the turnovers. Temple with 10 in the game. A couple key turnovers here recently. Guyton and Turner. Madness answers for Indiana. Now that two trips now with good deployment. You've got to work and think and get to the open spots against this Temple zone. 
Madness 4-4 from the floor. Watley and a Stewart. Greer thinking of three. Oh, oh, oh big sweet kiss. Oh, oh, oh. oh, and he doesn't even smile. Serious delivery. 44-40. Temple. Patterson can't hang on. Temple. Another Indiana turnover. Oh, what a and break. here's a Temple turnover. Boy, what a break is right. Indiana turned it over, and Temple hands it right back. It's a four-point game. Temple 44, Indiana 40 with 11-18 to play. Timeout. Dean left. It's a look at Nate Blackwell in his second year as the full-time assistant here. And now enjoying the coaching. A-10 player of the year in his senior year. Indiana back and returning to the game is Luke Recker. Recker handling the ball out front, the 6'6 freshman. We have Turner out there and Geithner. With Patterson and Gladness, the five oh. on the floor for Indiana. Turner with another three attempt, not going to go, but Patterson muscles it back up and in. And what a shot by Turner. Well, he's got confidence. Rob, relax. That'll get you the hook. <laughs> nice to see Luke back in the game, though. Give him a chance to make up for that last little swing where he had a couple of turnovers. Anderson, eight points, nine rebounds. Here's Moore. Got a look, but nothing. Turner down with a basketball. Okay, Turner's pretty sound on that last jump shot. He didn't turn it over in the backcourt. Saw the defender there. Inside, Gladness looking low. Patterson broken up. Stewart with the breakup. Greer down with a basketball. That's knocked away. Turner tips it into the front court. Gladness there to pick it up and lays it up and in. What a great play by Turner. The slap, the deflection, the finish. Rather easy. Really heads up. Now, Temple's not the same team without Sanchez. Get a little into turnover situations. Uh, decisions aren't quite as good. And he is up right now coming in. Greer with the ball down on the right sideline. Out to Moore. Ooh. Moore from three. That's not going to go. Back up and count. That one is Quincy Watley. Puts it in. He's got some elevation. Temple by two. Guyton. Out front. Looking to overload. Headed toward the corner. Rector picks it up on the deflection. Inside and they throw it away, but the ball loose and picked up again by Guyton. This one rolls off from Patterson. And it's out of bounds. Belonging to Indiana. Sanders tried to save it. Full sale. Substitution coming for Temple now. Never. Four players coming back. How about that? John Cheney didn't sub four in an Atlantic 10 season. <laughs> Some years. Sanchez. He has great confidence. Broken Burrow back in. They have Dunkley in the game. The only guy who stayed was Wadler. The Indiana problem is you can't simulate this zone defense in practice. What you think is open, he's not. They react beautifully on post passes. Runs the big man back in and against him. Here's a whistle as Turner trying to take it up and in. Foul will be on Dunkley. And that will be his third. Now, Guyton's got to take over for Indiana, I think, just like Sanchez has to do it for Temple. Make sure they're in the right spots. And if you don't get it on the first thrust for Indiana, bring it back, reset, get in the proper position. The overload's been effective. The flash to the post has been effective. And Turner misses from the line. There's A.J. Guyton, the sophomore, last year's Big Ten newcomer of the year. And Turner misses them both. Gladness kept it alive. Turner up with the ball, and it's knocked out of bounds. Belonging to Indiana. Wadley had a hand on it to knock it away. Uh, Temple's had one in the books already. Indiana has it. <laughs> uh, man, it should be the Temple for composure. Brecker and Guyton goes up to get it. Patterson in the corner. Luke can see over the defense, too. Quite an advantage at 6'6". 
Patterson again, Dunkley out there. This time over the big man Barnes, but nothing and a whistle. They're glad this is some rebound. Mm -hmm. Terrific reaction, quickness to get up. And that's a shot that Andre Patterson should knock off. Now look at this dive to get himself in position. Even though it is Sanchez, a lot of guys would have watched and counted the house. Good dive to the goal. And there's 11 points and eight rebounds tonight. He's at the line. 6'8", junior out of West Memphis, Arkansas. And this one will not go, but there was a lane violation, and he'll get another chance. Brokenboro was in too soon. And targeted Ted Kitchell, who played and won a, a ring for uh, NCAA, NCAA ring for Bobby Knight. He said the best postman is to see the dive into the lane that they have. And you get a chance for another is William Gladness. He's comfortable with his back to the basket. And Gladness hits this one. He has a dozen. Temple by one. Gladness could pull the Hoosiers even and ducks. See if they run something for Broken Burrow now. When it gets tough, they usually go to Rasheed. He's a little stacked and they're looking for him. Out of the corner, Broken Burrow. They had a tough first half from the floor. This one's knocked away and a foul against Patterson. The pass intended for Barnes. Second foul. On Andre Patterson. Now that's not one you should commit with his experience. And let him catch the ball. He can't do any damage till he turns and tries to score. He's got to show his leadership qualities with intelligence, intelligent play. Wadley inbounding. Sanchez out there. Happy Sanchez, a sophomore. The A-10 all-rookie team last year and a steadying influence for Temple. They really felt Sanchez broken bro interchangeable at those guard spots, mm -hmm. but as you point out, Bill, really Sanchez settles things for them. A nice defensive play by Patterson. Patterson against Barnes and Guyton back with a basketball. Nice pass. Turner rejected, but a whistle. And a foul coming on the rejection by Lamont Barnes. What a great reaction by Barnes. It all started with a block by Andre Patterson. When you're good, much is expected of you. And down underneath, Turner, who stepped up on the offensive end, Rob has been solid. That was quick and emphatic. For Indiana, shooting two. And at the line is Rob Turner, shooting two. Boy, he continues to struggle from the line. And the change, Dunkley out, Stewart in, but Aaron Stewart, the 6'8", senior. Turner averaged 20 points in junior college, 10 rebounds. That's pretty impressive. It's just from three of six from the line tonight. We've seen him hit a couple threes and struggle from the line, 50% so far from the free throw mark tonight. 47-46, Indiana timeout, 7.45 left. Leading by one, 47-46 with 7.45 to play. Coming up Tuesday the 18th, the Major League Baseball expansion draft. The Arizona Diamondbacks and Tampa Bay Devil Rays take... Well, that keeps you busy in the offseason yeah, of basketball. Right. All your baseball engagements. And Barnes with zero points. Led them in scoring with 19 points over. That's amazing. 33 minutes. Temple with a basketball down by one. A little housekeeping. They gave that last foul to Sanchez and not to Barnes. So Barnes is playing with three fouls. Sanchez misses this three attempt. Indiana down with a basketball. Robbie Eggers with a rebound in for the first time. Guyton. Gladness pulls out front. They got to come out and help you. Yeah, now they do. Guyton and Turner out front. Gladness in the game. Like Rucker down and the shot not going to go. The rebound Barnes ahead to Sanchez. Sanchez tries to go around Gladness and gets the roll. Now that's a real savvy play. He didn't want to charge. 
Just patient enough, little freeze and then release. Temple grams the lead by 148-47. They got the overload right. They didn't take advantage. Guyton, left side underneath. Gladness, and he can't get the roll. Wadley rebounds and a whistle. Going to be against Gladness. So often, you miss the little one, the chippy, and then you get a small changer. This is one possibly go up and send it in. That's his first miss of the ball game from the floor. And the foul, Temple with a basketball. Pepe Sanchez into the front court. Guyton there with him. Temple with the ball and the lead by one. Record. Barnes on the screen. Rolls down, takes the pass, up and in. Non existent defensively there. Fell asleep. They were running someone on the opposite side, getting Wrecker a double screen. Or get, giving uh, Broken Bowler. Barnes in the book. All 10 Temple Owls who have played have scored now. They waited on the big man, Barnes, who had 19 last time out against Auburn. Wrecker fights to the bucket, misses the shot, tipped out front. Broken Burrow with a breakaway. Guyton there to strip it. Sanchez to apply some pressure baseline, and we're going to take it the other way. Indiana and Temple battling back and forth, and Guyton along that baseline had it knocked away by Sanchez. Indiana can't consistently pick the defense apart. There's the mentor diagrams of play, but right here you can see the inability of Eggers to take away the baseline. I mean, that shouldn't have happened. No support from behind. Turner on the trap out front. Gotten Turner. Gladness out of the corner. Not going to go. Barnes rebounding, and we have another whistle. But this might be Patterson. Yep. It's going to be Andre Patterson picking up the foul. That will give him three. With 5.08 to play. When Indiana's had the shots, they've rushed them a little bit. A little impatient, in a hurry to defuse this zone defense. And Barnes goes to the line. Just a 53% shooter last year and misses this one. On the front side of a potential one and one Temple just 5 of 13 from the line tonight. Set up this 1-3-1 one, one look all night. Sanchez tries to turn it back. Don't let it come to the opposite side. Broken Burrow knocks it into the backcourt. Back to get it, Wrecker. Wrecker, Patterson in the corner. Swings it. Guyton. Wrecker inside. Intended for gladness, but a whistle. And a foul against Indiana. Now, yeah, Wrecker left his feet on the pass. You got to be under control. I'm so impressed with the coverage of Temple. I mean, there isn't much time, much space. Cross court the ball, a reaction quickly. So, Wrecker charged with his third foul. Michael Lewis returns to the game, replacing the freshman Wrecker. And Barnes will again go to the line. Now once you get into this area, you got to be totally under control. The kick was left that time. Defense reacted, slid down in front of Gladness. One and one for Barnes. Sophomore out of Hopkinsville, Kentucky. And this one will fall for him. Touch. Feel. You know you struggle on the foul when you get a standing ovation for a make. <laughs> And misses this one. Wadley and Gladness. Barnes and comes up with a dunk. Barnes had five of those against Auburn and enjoyed that one. 53-47 Temple. Right now, Indiana rattled, not reacting well. Look at this one. Lewis inside and it's thrown away. Barnes back to Sanchez. Another Indiana turnover. The Temple crowd getting into this. Moment for the Temple Owls. So many mistakes by the Hoosiers. They've made the zone more effective. Temple taking advantage of 20 Indiana turnovers. Wadley long out of the corner. And a foul coming against Gladness. Stewart 
Came down with the basketball. They just have a knack of getting inside position. They understand the shots are going to come up. They're in the proper space. Charlie Miller makes his first appearance of the night, and Luke Jimenez enters the game as well for Indiana. Miller made 17 starts last year, appeared in 33 games, and this is the first time we've seen him tonight with 3.53 to play. Stewart 0 for 2 from the line tonight with that miss. Terrible, and not a good Sanchez comes up with a steal down and immediately calls a timeout. So Sanchez on the intercept of a steal. That play, Rob Turner gave it up. He's got to read ahead. Not a good play by Indiana. Outstanding hustle, feistiness by Temple all game long. And right now it's a shattered Indiana team. The psyche not relaxed, not comfortable, not able to do the things that normally come naturally for them. Well, they came out and made a couple big mistakes early, and that has set the tone for the second half. It's a different team than the one in the first half. Well, you can talk about turnovers, and the coaches have, and their concern was handling the basketball, uh, but game action is when composure dictates how you're going to play. Turnovers and no field goals for over six minutes. Oh, that'll get you a quick trip out of town. And in the old days, Temple used a lot of clock. This is a big lead late against the Temple team. And as a result of that, Temple with this lead. Sanchez on the feed to Lamont Barnes. That makes it an eight-point ball game. 55-47. Timeout. Indiana calling time with three minutes and 28 seconds left. Bobby Knight just not very happy. Barnes coming up with a pair, has seven in the game to build this lead to 55-47. With 3.28 left, Temple has its biggest lead, 55-47. Temple on a 9-0 run, and Bob Knight is not in very good humor. Oh, well, he was there. He just wanted to see if that whistle, the P, worked. <laughs> well, his team not performing well. And having been there over the years, it's tough. You start reaching for some straws. A.J. Guyton over to Lewis. Inside Wrecker. Sanchez pressure, knocks it away and out of bounds. Now right there, you th normally you'll turn one dribble, you've got something. But Sanchez, great recovery powers. Lewis again looking in, down to eight on the shot clock. Five, Lewis still looking. Guyton way out there and lets it fly with two on the clock. Barnes keeps it alive. Well, the problem you have is Temple makes you use a lot of time when you're behind. And over the years on this end, they've been extremely patient. Rashid Brokenborough. And Sanchez. Sanchez re-entered the game. They've settled in. He just knows how to run a club. It's extraordinary talent. Sanchez working inside. Back to Broken Burrow for three. It will not go. The ball comes down to Rucker. A little over two minutes to play. Rucker with a pass. Knocked away. Goes out of bounds. Getting a hand in there was Quincy Wadley. Now that one, that looked like a passing lane. They got the hand in. Lewis floats it out. Guyton. Patterson in the corner. It will not drop. And a whistle. And Stewart had a hand up there, and he's going to be charged. And not the kind of foul you want to give. Go up strong. They haven't made many. It pains. It hurts. Oh. With 2-11 left to go. Temple leading 55-47. We get down to the closing ticks on the clock. And John Cheney hated to see that kind of foul. Since Patterson to the line. And it's good. Patterson, a 76% free throw shooter a year ago. Senior out of Abilene. That's another shot coming. For them to have a good year, I think he's got to excel. 
contribute more offense. Get him the ball a little bit more. We can do some damage. 55-49. The Temple lead at a half dozen. Extending the floor. Not a strength over the years of an Indiana team. More of a basic half-court defensive group. Sanchez, front court. Works against Guyton. Broken ball inside and a whistle on the floor before the shot. Now they pulled the string there. They got Broken Burrow down in the box area where he could do some damage. Good, quick, explosive move. He's had most of his touches coming off screens way out on the perimeter. You can see here the jump stop, the elevation, they negate the goal, but good offensive thrust. And Broken Burrow hits this one. He has eight in the game. He has five of seven from the line and a three from the floor tonight. Missed that. A minute 49 left. Ball knocked away. Indiana retains possession. Michael Lewis. Front court and a record. Hoosiers of it just 30% from the floor in the second half. Inside, off the glass, not going to go on the attempt by Miller. And what a screen that time by Patterson. Took his guy out to give the dribble move to the goal. Unable to convert. Indiana, one full timeout left. Two 20s. Temple with two fulls left. With a minute and a half to play. Temple has the advantage of the possession arrow right now. There's a foul on the reach. Trying to slap it away. They're going to give the foul to Barnes, and that will be his fourth. He had played with three since the 1709 mark. Extraordinary coverage all game long, though. Little weakness shows or exhibits itself. They take it away the next trip. They really challenge your intellectual analysis. It's, it's a tough defense, and you just can't do it in practice. And I'm sure Bob's seen it. Everybody has seen it. But if you can't get your second group to go out and cover the lanes and react, players get a little sloppy. And if you use it, that's one of the advantages of using it. The opposition doesn't see it a lot, doesn't get to practice against it a lot. Timeout, Sanchez into the front court, and Temple will use a timeout with a minute 12 to play. The Temple Owls have built a six-point lead. Lead for Temple over Indiana with a minute 12 left to play. Well, you've seen this Temple zone play over the years. Uh, they seem quicker to me. I think they're quicker, and I, and I think because of the depth, they're going to stay quicker longer. You're yeah, right. That's an excellent point. They have forced 23 Indiana turnovers. And with that guy in the sidelines, they'll stay fresh. Don't forget, Mark Jackson no longer here. Opted out, and Marvin Webster, that tragedy, passing away this offseason. Not a big team, according to John Cheney, but boy, they were nice Whoops. playing here. You can see that one coming as Guyton steps in for the steal and an easy two to make it a four-point game. Not over yet by well, any stretch. 56-52, and here's a foul against Indiana as Watley was trying to find position, and he was fouled before the inbound by Michael Lewis. His first. I know they were disturbed by it, but it does stop the clock. Yep. Wadley will go to the line. Something that has not been a very successful part of the Temple game tonight. Wadley nothing of two from the line. Temple overall seven of 18. And Wadley hits this one. And they move as they have over the years. Everybody off the line. Wadley converts them both. Big trip to the line for the sophomore Quincy Wadley. 
Guyton. Now Lewis. 45 seconds to play. And they force you to use time. Guyton will not get it to go down. The ball tipped to the corner. Lewis saves it. Comes back. Off to the right side. Down to the baseline. This one forced up. And a whistle as Charlie Miller tried to put it up. And he was fouled. Got away with it, too. Yep. A little lean in with the body. I believe that's number five on Lamont Barnes. Now you got to get baskets in a hurry. And right here, maybe just a little overzealous as he moved in. So Barnes fouls out with a fraction better than 30 seconds to play. Barnes came to life in the second half, finishes with seven points and seven rebounds on the heels of his 19 point performance against Auburn. They were on the sideline, longtime assistant Dean Demopoulos, Nate Blackwell, and they really work at taking people. I, I, I noticed Dean looking at the scattering report, picked up a paper, mentioned something to John. Oh, there he is. The Brain Trust, it's all about winning down here. New building. It'll be the same at the Apollo. It was at McGonagall. It was at the Palestra. No matter where. And here's Miller going to the line. Senior out of Miami, and he misses this one. Wow. 73% a year ago. He missed his first 11 three-point field goal attempts last year, and that really set the tone for an inconsistent and frustrating year. He had some groin injury problems as well. Hits this one. Well, they got to go trap, create it, and step in. Almost. Sanchez into the front court, three on one. Sanders takes it back out front to take care of the clock. Nice heady play. Broken Burrow, and he's fouled by Guyton with 19.5 seconds left. And Pepe Sanchez brought in a little deeper than John Cheney wanted. He was giving the ball to others to make the decision. John wants him. Indiana. Two 20s left. Temple with one full timeout and in possession of the arrow. Broken Burrow to the line. Five of eight from the free throw line tonight. And this one is good. Coming into this one, Temple one and two overall against Indiana. Last time Temple beat an Indiana team was in the 34 35 season when they beat him 50 to 30. And you're looking at me like I did the color. <laughs> 59-53. Inside Guyton. It will not go. Broken Burrow with the rebound. Sanchez front court. Broken Burrow. Under six to play. Broken Burrow. Wadley out to Sanchez. And Sanchez throws the ball into the air.